Okay, everybody, this video is on how to fade some shapes within your composition using chalk pastel. So I created a whole bunch of different tutorials for you all on how to do color fades in a variety of media, right? So chalk pastel or oil pastel fading from a color into white, color into black, uh, analogous color fade, dark light dark, and all kinds of things like that. And the videos always start off with like, okay, Clean off your chalk pastels. Okay, choose your darker color and fade it out to the white of the paper. When you all started your collaborative compositions, basically what I wanted you to do is I wanted you to dive right in with your group and locate shapes that were part of an eye path or part of a focal point and color them in a solid color. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of the backwards method of how to convert those flat planes of color into color fades. Okay, so first things first, like always, I'm gonna clean off my chalk pastels. The main one I'm worried about actually is this really cool pink fuchsia one right here, making sure that that has all of its color, all of its extra color off of it. Okay, so it looks a little bit better than it did before. I'm gonna say that one's good and ready to go. Okay, so you probably have something um, within your composition, within your design, shapes that kind of look like this, that you designated as part of your eye path, part of your focal point, part of something, okay? And I asked your group to color them in a solid color, just to de designate that either part of your focal point or part of your eye path. So you might have something that looks like this, la la la, you might have something that looks like this, Again, you were just picking out shapes within your design for part of those things. So you color these in basically to designate them, okay? At this point in time, these look okay. They're not crafted really well. What I want you to do is resurrect the awesome color fades that you guys know how to do. And the main reason for that is we want to take our flat planes of color and we want to turn them into something that starts to have a three-dimensional quality to it. Something that instead of looking look, looking like elementary school work looks like upper middle or high school work even. So I'm going to take a color, at least for one of these, maybe the top one or maybe the bottom one, not sure. I'm going to take um, a color and this just happens to be purple. I can fade purple into pink. I call that an analogous color fade. Um, purple's next to red on the color wheel. Pink is a lighter version of red. And what you can do is to start to turn these into a color fade Toward the edges, what I'm going to do is take my purple like this, okay, and I'm going to do sort of a dark to light to dark here just for kicks because it's going to make me happy. I'm doing this around the edge, and then I'm going to take a finger that's clean, might have to wipe this off on a paper towel or something, and I'm going to fade this from light into dark. The reason why I'm doing light into dark is I wanted to make sure that I kept some of that pink part. Look at how awesome my finger looks right here. All right, now I'm gonna use a different finger and um, fade it lightest into darkest. But see how this shape starts to have a little bit of depth and dimension to it? I love that, I think that looks awesome. Let's say I wanted to convert this one. Say you're like, well, I don't wanna do an analogous color fade, I wanna keep it simple, I just wanna keep it from one side. Something like black or white, or even another analogous color that just comes in from one side might be a good thing. What if I wanted a shadow in here on this? What I could do very easily is take my black chalk pastel and just keep it maybe even to one side. Um, start to do just a dark to light. I'm going to try and fade this out with the black. I'm not sure if I'm going to be successful. I probably should have gotten a little bit lighter here. But um, using some clean fingers, which mine are not, they don't have any powder on it. Doesn't look like, nope, really no powder on here. I'm gonna